Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom Google map with a route planner and custom markers. So we'll open up our web browser and the first thing you need to make sure you've got is a Google account. If you don't have one, go to Google, type in create Google account and follow the instructions here and set yourself up with a Google account. The next thing you want to do is go back to Google and type in maps and we'll click on Google maps here. And I'm already logged into my Google account here. And the first thing I'm going to do is click on this menu option here. And then go to your places right here. Then you see these tabs at the top and we're going to click on maps here. And it says no maps. I'm going to create a map down here. This will open in a new window. And the first thing I always do is delete, delete this default layer. So just click here and just say delete this layer. And I'm based in London here in the UK, and I assume Google is going to do a geographic location and probably put you close to where you are uh, on the map. So I'm based in London, so I can use my mouse wheel to zoom into London. I know London pretty well, so what we're going to do is draw a path. So let's set the map around here. And the first thing we're going to do is give the map a title. So Basically, this 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 uh, t tutorial you can use this for both business and personal. So, on the personal level, you may be doing some sort of uh, getting together with some friends on the weekend, and you want to show where you're going. So, someone from maybe out of London is visiting you, and you want to show a map as to where you're going to start. So, they may meet you at that start place, and you're going to show where you're going to go. Uh, and it might just help them to get to that place where they understand what the journey is going to be. Or if it's on a business level, imagine if you're doing a charity event and you're going to be doing a walk, for example, and you're going to be walking across London and you may want to show the path of where you're going to be walking, for example. Or if you run a, a uh, delivery company or if, you're, um, if you run a bus company, for example, you want to show the bus route. If it's like a personal you know, project or if it's a business related project, you can use this same technique for both. But in this case, I'm going to use it for personal. I'm going to click on Untitled Map. I'm going to say uh, my weekend I'm going to call it My Weekend Journey Meeting with Friends for the Weekend. You can put the date there if you want. You can do whatever you want. Give it whatever title and whatever description. So I'm going to click Save. Now we've got a title and a description. And the next thing I want to do is zoom closer into this map to where my start point is going to be. And I know that I want to start near Ilford Station. This is where I, I live quite close to Ilford Station. So this is where I want to start. Now I've got a few options. I can either decide that I'm going to be doing this journey by, by foot, by walking, or by car. And in this case, I want to do it by foot. So I want to show that I'm walking. So in this option here, it says draw line. You can see add a line or shape add driving route, add biking route, or add walking route. And in this case, I'm going to use walking route because normally I do this walk uh, most weekends whenever I go. I normally do this by foot. So I'm going to click add walking route. And when I click add walking route, you'll see that there's this new uh, section here. It's called untitled. So we're going to click on that walking here. And on the map, we're going to double click where we want to start or well, in fact we can just single click here so we're going to start here near Orford station and after I've clicked I'm going to start drawing on the map the route that I'm going to be walking so when you get to a point where you can't see the map anymore you can just left hold down the mouse button and drag it and we're going to be walking all this way all the way down this road called run for the road it's quite a long road we're going to keep walking we're going to walk from Ilford all 
all the way down this road and we're going to get here and we can now zoom out a little bit to see where we're going right so we're going to come down this way and we're going to go down this road here carpenter's road and we will go down this way here and in fact we'll go this way and we'll end up here which is right near the Olympic Stadium so when we get to the end point we just double click and that will give us from point A to point B so we move, and then it will give you the location. So you're moving from point A to point B. This is named unknown, unnamed road. It's not really a road. It's actually right near the Olympic Stadium. And sometimes I do that walk when I'm going to go watch a football match. I walk from here to there. And uh, yeah, it's quite a long walk. This untitled layer, we can get rid of this. We don't need this. So we're going to right click delete. Then we just have this one layer here. Now, once we've got that layer done, we can create more like this. So if from, from here, from Olympic Stadium, if we're going to go somewhere else, we can draw another route. I'll show you that in a moment. But along this route, we may want to put a custom marker, right? So here you can see the carpenter's arm. So this is a pub. You can see there's like a little pub symbol here, like a drink symbol. So along this way, we may stop off here and have a drink before we go and watch the football. So let's put a... We're going to create a new layer, so add layer, click here, and this will be a new layer. And in here we're going to click add marker, and we're going to put a marker here. And we'll say in here point one, we delete this text here. Let's have a drink. you can just type something like pub location and click save so when we save that this will be a specific point now and we can move that around if it's not quite in the right place but if we put it here um, and then we can double click on this marker or single click on it and then click on edit and we can change this title and this uh, description here and we can also go to style and we can change the color so we can make it a bit more vibrant maybe make it like a red color so it stands out a bit more and then we can go to more icons and you can select a different icon so um, maybe we've got places oh, there's so many here where we've got places right so in here food fast food burgers burgers now I'm not interested in burgers um, Maybe we just use this one like fast food for now. It's fine. So we can maybe get food and drink there. So we'll click that, click OK. Then it's got that type of icon there. And then we'll click outside of this, um, this pin, which we click outside. You can even add a photograph, right? So we click add image. Uh, we can... Um, probably drag an image here right so let me find a suitable image or any image will do let's uh let me quickly find an image I've got a few sort of basic images here. Let's just use one as an example. So maybe this image here. Let's take that image, drag and drop it in here. You can see that image here. So it's got, let's have a drink. This, obviously this is not the right picture, but um, could have been any picture in here. And then click save. Now you've got a nice image to go with. Um, let's have a drink, basically. So you can create more of these markers anywhere you want to position them. Um, you can pretty much do what you want. 
So at the end here, maybe at position B, you could put another marker here if you want and say football match over here somewhere. Uh, do whatever you want. And then you can go and create a whole different path. So you can create a new layer um, and maybe do a different journey to somewhere else. So let's say we wanted to go from the Olympic Stadium to somewhere else. Uh, let's say we're going to go to West Ham Park here, right? After the football match, we'll walk to West Ham Park and play some more football. Why not? So we'll click Add Layer. In this one, really we should name this this untitled layer. So we'll call it um, Places to Go and click Save. So these are places that we're going to go along our journey. And then we've got another untitled layer here. Um, and we'll click on this layer, so make sure it's clicked. You, you'll know which layer is selected because it highlights blue down the side here. So when we click on this one, we know we're on this layer and it's highlighted blue. And we're going to go back to our marker and we're going to do walking route again. And we'll click, um, let's click here. And we're going to draw the route that we're going to follow back down this way. And we want to get to West Ham Park. So what we'll do is go In fact, we'll go this way. Let's go the scenic route. Okay. So here we are at West Ham Park. So I'm going to double click here. It's going to point at point B. Now you can see as default, Google is going to try and give you the fastest route to get to there by walking. So if you don't want to go that route and you want to go a different route, all you need to do is find a marker point like this one here. See this marker here highlighted? Let's zoom in a little bit. And we can drag that marker to a different location, right? So we drag it here. Then it will take this route, which is uh, it's just a nicer walk, you could say. So that's how you're going to go and put another location um, for that specific route. Now I'm pretty sure uh, if we click here, we can edit the name. So let's call this going to the park and click save. So now that layer is called going to the park and this first one we can call going to football match and click OK. So there's two different paths now. Now the next thing we want to do maybe is um, Let's create this untitled layer. Let's get rid of this, we don't want this. So we've got these places to go. So we can click on this same layer, this places to go layer, and we can add another marker. And we'll put one, let's say along this route. I know there's a shop quite close to here. So in this shop, Um, so we may go past here near the shop and get some food while we're at the park and we can click save you can add a description if you want click save um, you can upload a picture as well so let's just drag and drop some random picture in here uh, we use uh, this one We've got this other image in here. We can click save and then close this. So now you can see how you can build those paths. Now you could use this for business purposes, right? So you could say, imagine if you're, ten, if you're doing an event and this is where your office is and this is where the location of the event is. You could draw this map and then send this map to all of your staff and say, look, this is where we're starting and this is where we, where we need to be, something like that. Or if you're doing a, if you run a bus company and you want to say this is the start of the bus stop and this is where it's going to end and you could put markers where showing where all the different stops are for the bus or if you're um, doing a charity walk and you could say we're going to walk from here 
all the way down to the Olympic Stadium and then from Olympic Stadium we're going to walk all the way to West Ham Park and then you can send that to all the people that are attending your charity walk for example. So you can use this for both personal and business. So the, the one other thing I want to show you is um, while you're updating this by the way you can see that all changes saved in Drive so it always keeps saving these changes. Okay so the next thing I'm going to do is show you how you can share this map so at the moment the map is actually private so only you can access this map and you want to share this with other people you don't have to but you may want to share it with your friends your family your work staff uh, you may be doing some event where you want to share this map um, on your website or share it as a link so you need to click on this share button here but before we click that share button let's click on this preview and when we click preview it's going to open it in a new tab and when we click on these icons here it will open and show the image that we uploaded. It says, let's have a drink, pub location, for example. And we can click on this one. And then it says, get some food, um, for example. And then you can see all the different pins and the positions that we, we, we're going to do on this journey. All right? You can see all that information here. You can click this edit button and that will take you back to the map where you're editing. Or you can just close this window and you'll be back to where you was editing the map anyway. And we can click on this share button here. And when we click on share, it's asking some questions so um, it says right now that it's private so we click here we can say public or anyone with a link so for now we're going to make it public and anyone can access this without no signing basically they don't need to sign into Google account um, but they can only view it they can't edit it yeah so they can they can only view view this map and we'll click save and then we can click done so you can actually um, copy this URL here so you can copy this link copy it and click done and then you can open up your email account and you can copy and paste this link so if I copy if I paste it into my web browser and hit the enter key I'll see this map now and anyone can basically view this map um, but what you can also do is click on this uh, this button here and you can click on embed on my website and you can copy this iframe you can copy this link here and then what we can do is imagine if you've got a website or like a, um, a wordpress or a custom website where you can access the website admin control panel in this example i just create a little index page on my computer it's called index.html i'm just going to right click on it open it with notepad plus plus and paste in this embed code that we just copied close it actually let's do that one more time Need to save this close it and then we can open this up and then we've got the map here and we can have this on our website on a news item or on our web page somewhere and people can click in and zoom so this this will be more related to business or if you had a personal blog or if you had a business or this was your charity walk now you can actually display this on a web page within your own website and people can even click on the links and see the the image uh, here you can click on this one and see the image and this could be related to an event that you're that you're doing like a charity walk or something like this it can even be a bus map a bus route anything really from a to b from a to b okay so i'm going to close this the next thing i'll do is just go back to share and i'll go back to here and set it to private again so no one can really access this i'll click done okay so i hope you find this tutorial useful feel free to uh, experiment with this map you can experiment with the pins you can do different types of routes you can do driving routes uh, the reason why i use the walking route um, is because you can't really drive into this part of part of london where this where this this uh, olympic stadium is you have to walk there but you could have done a drive all the way up to around somewhere like here and then you could have done a walking route so you could use two different types use drive and walking route you can use bike route as well experiment with it see how you get on and that is going to be the end of this tutorial and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial